I, like many of you, I'm sure, are crying tears of joy. I haven't been this excited about the election since Donald Trump got the nomination, but liberals are absolutely devastated over the FBI Director James Comey's new revelations that more emails have been discovered from Hillary Clinton on her top aide, Uma Aberdeen's laptop, Anthony Weiner's pretend wife. Even the most skilled liberal liars are having a difficult time spinning this one. So I wanted to see how MSNBC was handling this latest devastating blow to the Clinton campaign. So let's analyze Rachel Maddow's report about this new devastating news. But in, in political terms, Democrats and supporters of Hillary Clinton are reacting to today's news mostly with anger. Fear. Uh, specifically with anger and bewilderment Tears. at the FBI for how they handled this today and for this decision to send this remarkable, inflammatory, content-free letter. It's inflammatory and content-free. Discovering new evidence in a criminal investigation is now, quote, inflammatory. <laughs> then she brought this political hack on, hoping to give her some comfort about why the FBI would do such a thing, but it just didn't work. They knew that they were going to take heat no matter what, and they decided this was the right course to be transparent. Look at how sad he is. He just are. can't even believe Obviously, this is happening. Just heard, uh, Congressman Elijah oh, look at her now. Demanding that oh, the no. FBI release I think I've seen tears. About this, this is <laughs> too vague. It's lending to too much her. political uh, supposition. I'm crying tears uh, of joy. Do you have any sense of how long this review of the FBI's will take? Will they actually release any more information? Oh. Will they complete anything oh. before Election Day? Well, I can't look imagine they're going to complete this before election. Ah, there look at her! Thousands oh, of emails smile. Here. Think of the process the FBI went through in looking at this the first time around. You got Here's the email. devastating blow. It might have classified information in it, so you have look to how reluctant to he is to deliver this devastating news. And say, is this classified now? Was it then? Based on the and, and that takes a long time. That's one of the reasons why the Clinton email investigation took so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's cut to the chase here. They assume this is the sort of reaction they were going to get. NBC News Justice Correspondent Pete Williams. Pete, Look at I really her. appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. <laughs> okay. um, it's remarkable. <laughs> that, yeah, I mean, what Pete's saying about it not being done, Look at her. they won't have anything oh, further no. to report until after the election. That just means that this huge political, you know, brick has been thrown into the pool, and that's it. Everybody go vote now. We're not going to say what any, what any of it means. Think what you want. Remarkable. Yes, remarkable. How dare the FBI actually conduct a proper investigation? Isn't there a saying about you can judge a person by the company they keep? Look what kind of a disgusting, despicable, perverted cabal we are dealing with here. Hillary Clinton. Bill Clinton. Hillary Clinton's top aide and rumored an alleged lesbian lover Uma Aberdeen and her pretend husband Anthony Weiner probably the second most infamous sexual predator in American politics, second to Bill Clinton, Hillary's pretend husband. I'm Mark Dice, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel now if you're new and check back every day for new reports, and I'll see you soon.